In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to take your existing artwork and then export it in various formats so that you can then import it into some other programs. So to do that, we'll go to page 2 here and I'll just come up to the File menu and I'll import an existing piece of artwork. So I click on File here and I'll select one of these here. This one looks good enough, so click Open. And we'll import this in. So this is the artwork that we want to export so that we can later import it into another program. So the first thing we need to do is select over it like this and select it. And we come up to the File menu up here, come down to Export, and we're presented with some of these options here. Now if I want to export it as an image, I'd click on As Image, or as just as Vectors as Vector, or I've got this more generic type default one here, which I'll click on that. And you can see here we get some options, Adobe Illustrator and bitmaps and things. So what we'll do is we'll give this a name, we'll call it France so that we can remember which one we've, what name we've given it, and we just go to the folder we want to save it to, which you can use this left hand column here to do that. We give it a name, the, the file of type we want to save it as, and we just click save, and that's now been saved to that folder. Now I can show that to you, I'll re-import it, so I'll click on file here, and yes here it is, france.ai, so click open, and as you can see, it's the same file. So we've exported this as an Adobe Illustrator format and we've re-imported it and you can see it's come through no problems. OK. If I wanted to export this as an image, for example, I'd come up to File, I'd go down to uh, Export, and I'd go as Image here. And I get this, this option up here, this window up here. Now I don't want to, I'll save it as a, uh, as a ping file. The reason for that is I want to show you something in the, uh, the way it exports. So I'll call that France again. So, and uh, same folder, I'm happy where it's going to save, I'm happy with the name, right format, click save. Now I'm presented with these options here, and as you can see you get transparent background as an option. If I try to export this as a JPEG, JPEGs don't have um, alpha channels, so I couldn't have a transparent background. I can have a solid background and I can set what colour I want that to be. So if I want it to be this colour, or black, whatever I want it to be, and I can actually go even further and start looking at defined colours, but basically I can set what colour I want it to be, or I can set it to be transparent, so I can have an alpha channel here. I can set my resolution, so with this many pixels, at that DPI, would equal 7.216 inches. And there's a help, uh, help file on this which explains how DPI works, and it's a good idea that you have a look at that. The program also presents me with some standard type things like automatic, low, normal and high quality, and what you set that to really depends on what you plan to do with the image uh, that you're exporting, what it's for. If it's for a, uh, a bureau or someone's doing a large format digital print for you, you then you probably want to have at least a couple of thousand pixels across so that you get a nice enough resolution as an image. You don't, you don't get too much staircasing around the edges here. Uh, so you know the more pixels you have, basically the better. Once you start going over 5,000 pixels wide, it's probably the law of diminishing returns where it really won't make any difference. And of course, it also depends on the viewing distance. I mean, if you've got your nose up on this job here, obviously the more pixels the better. But if you're, if this is on some sort of turnpike or a freeway or something, clearly it can be way out in the distance and it doesn't really matter. You can have a much lower resolution. And I'm happy with this, so I click OK. And that has now been saved as France.ping. So if I go back to File, I click on Import Image, I should be able to scroll down and see this image here, France.ping here. So click Open, drag it out like that, and as you can see, if I go into Wireframe mode by clicking on this button, these remain as curves, but this is now an image. So I'll go back to Normal View. So that's how we create, uh, export an image uh, using the program. Now, the next thing I'll show you is uh, uh, an example uh, of publishing to PDF. So I'll import a compound type uh, uh, job here. So what we're looking for is PDF. And there it is. And I'm in the wrong folder, so I go to sample, I go to these imports here. And I've got the savannah.pdf. I wanted to use this as an example. So I've got that there and I'll just put it into uh, portrait view. Zoom in. So this was originally designed in Vinyl Master. You can see this is uh, a clipped piece of um, a clipped image here with a uh, gradient fill, etc., and an outline effect, etc. So I want to export this or publish this to a PDF file. So to do that, I come up to File, I go down to Publish to PDF, I click on that. 
and I get presented with this window. Now we'll call it Savannah 1 for example and we'll click and we're on PDF and we're in the right folder so we click Save and we get presented with these options. So if this was a multi-page document I could check entire document and if it was three or four pages or a hundred pages that all be included. I can uh, just set it to the entire page or the current selection and I can include uh, master pages if I want to and you can learn more about master pages by seeing the, uh, the help lesson on that uh, in the from the Vinyl Master uh, manual. Now here I've got some image options. I can choose to include the images or not to include them and I can also use anti-aliasing here and I can check what uh, quality I want. Now normally you would leave it at high quality unless this was just a quick thing that you wanted to email to someone as a very small file and then you might set it to lower quality or to standard. Okay. Now the next thing is these general options, the author and the title. So if you want to put down your name in here or the name of the company or some information and the, maybe the title of the job here, uh, you can do that. You can add these options and they'll appear in the PDF file when you right click and look at its properties. So if I click OK here now, I've got the current page, I'm going to include the images and I click OK and that's now sent that and as you can see it loads it straight up in a PDF for you and it shows you what it looks like in PDF. So then you could just email this to someone and all they need is a copy of Adobe Reader and they can just open it up and have a look at it and that's a great way of uh, sending your artwork to people. So I'll just close that out there and um, I'll just go to page 3 here, I'll make that portrait, go file, import, file and we'll go to Savannah 1, open and you can see it's come straight back in as we exported it or saved it or published it to the PDF format. So that's how uh, export works and um, that's the end of this lesson.